Hey, as promised, I'm back to review some items. Today we're going to review this table uh, that I use when I'm doing POTA activations. And coming up shortly, there'll be other videos about the sleeping system and other items that I bring with me. 73 guys, hey, like and subscribe. Hey, I want to talk about this travel chair table. Before I go into setting up the table and tearing it down, so on and so forth, a couple of things that I was looking for in a table, since normally I set some pretty expensive gear on top of that table, is I wanted something that was fully adjustable, understanding that I would be working in areas that have you know, uneven or imperfect ground. So not setting up on concrete, but setting up on uneven surfaces could be in a campsite or wherever. And I wanted something with a lot of support. I wanted something that was metal, not too heavy, you know, aluminum. But uh, this table does allow you to adjust each leg independently of each other to provide a little more stability in uneven, uneven ground. Now, I wouldn't recommend this for backpacking or anything. Uh, it is definitely a car camping or camper camping type deal, but uh, it is very ruggedly built. These photos will show you, uh, you know, the different joints of it, how it goes together. The top is an, an aluminum top. The sides do, the top does clip into the sides of the frame to offer even more stability to the frame. Uh, the clips are plastic, but the clips are fairly rugged. I would not have any problem putting a stove or anything like that on there. Now I'm going to show you taking this apart. It, it's, you know, it, you'll see how it all works more from taking it apart than you do from putting it together. You can see that I can move the table. If you grab it wrong, you have that issue, that, that top does clip on so you need to be careful when you pick it up that you don't accidentally um, you know lose the top of it but the top does fold up and is nice and compact and then it slides off the end so when you put it on obviously you slide it through some some circles or some pieces that are solid fold the table out, and then it clips in to the other side. You can see here, uh, if you want to stop and zoom in, these are the pieces. They're solid, and then this one passes all the way through. Or it's actually uh, more of a clip, like a semicircle that clips in place. So, um, you know, it just slips into the bag. There's two different compartments in the bag, and both are, you know, it doesn't matter which side you put it in on either of these both compartments of the same size so i just verified that here uh, both sides are identical what i what i wanted to do though here is make sure that those clips are protected when you put it in so theoretically you're going to set this bag down to where um, you know those clips would not be against the floor that center post comes out and then the entire rest of it collapses together. So you put these legs down. You got to get that, those in first. Otherwise, the collapsing of the rest of it does not work. You lock them in place. And then you, if you squeeze these together, you'll see it starts squeezing inward on the sides and the legs start collapsing in. So you take one set of these legs and you squeeze in as you push them shut. And then you take the other side and you squeeze them in as you push shut. And it will all collapse down onto itself like so. Just make sure that there's nothing sticking out the side there. Collapse it in both directions. There you go. Now your legs do have to go in in a certain one side lays more flat than the other side, so if you don't lay down the correct side first, then you end up with it being uh, difficult to close up or it won't close up all the way. 
So the bag does have some fairly rugged zippers. It is a rugged bag. This is not a cheap item. Um, it's about 150 US dollars from Cabela's. You can see on the side of the bag, there's what it is. And then on the other side of the bag, there's instructions. So I wouldn't again use this for backpacking, but it is something that, uh, that you can check out if you're doing motorhome or car camping. So what would I use this for? This table I would use for car camping or motorhome camping where you need just another table outside. It does set up quick, doesn't take much room and, and you know, confined storage space areas. Um, it's not the, the most stable table, uh, but it's also not meant to be a, a, you know, house dining room table. It's a camping table and they're not the most stable. Um, I would be okay cooking on this table. However, I would not be okay probably uh, chopping a watermelon on this table. So, you know, that's that's my view of it. It works great for what I need it to do. It is a little expensive, but I'm sure it'll last forever. It is a very rugged device from from a materials perspective compared to plastic or something else. 73 guys. Like and subscribe. Have a great weekend.